She was much more upset than she was letting on. She didn't want her little one to see the full extent of her anger. Struggling to stay calm, she focused on getting them both home. Once there, she took a deep breath and examined her son's arm. The marks were immediately visible as he rolled up his sleeve. Someone was going to pay for this. Tara Chavez had carefully researched all the schools in the Phoenix area before settling on Desert Cove Elementary for her son, Caden. Knowing he was a sensitive soul, she wanted to ensure he would be treated with care. With its small class sizes and emphasis on children's well-being, Desert Cove Elementary seemed like the perfect choice. Feeling confident in her decision, Tara promptly enrolled him. Little did she know the school would soon do something that would make her deeply regret her choice and spark controversy online. It wouldn't be long before other parents began speaking out as well. After a full term at the school, everything appeared to be going smoothly. Hayden was excelling in his studies, making new friends and adoring all his teachers. But as Tara and her husband were about to discover, it wasn't the teachers they needed to be concerned about. As usual, Tara picked Caden up from school, but when she saw his face, she knew that something was deeply wrong. Her thoughts immediately flew to bullying and her blood began to boil. Regaining her composure, she cheerily asked Caden how his day had been. She had to get to the bottom of this now. Caden replied with a tense fine and resumed gazing out the window. Tara gently asked if something had happened at school, but he didn't answer. Understanding that he didn't want to talk about it, she decided to give him space and continue the conversation later with her husband. Then she saw a jarring mark on his arm. Tara craned her neck to try to see what was on her son's arm. At first, she thought it looked like dirt, but the closer she looked, the more she began to think otherwise. Whatever had made her son unhappy today was due to that mark. She just knew it and she was about to be proven right. Tara's mind became full of suspicions, but instead of demanding that Caden show her his arm, she decided to focus on the road and deal with the issue when they got home. She gripped the wheel until her knuckles turned white, trying not to let Caden see just how upset she was. Whoever did this was going to pay. When they arrived home, Caden headed straight towards his room, but Tara stopped him. She called her husband, pulled out a chair, and invited Caden to take a seat. Her husband playfully caught Caden and perched him on the seat. Tara asked him to show them his arm. He looked down as he lifted up his sleeve and there it was, what the school did to him, plain as day. I asked if he was given a choice and he said no. She just grabbed my wrist and put the stamp on, the angry mom explained in an interview. The mark was ink, but he hadn't written on his own arm. His father looked closer until he could make out the words that were stamped. He couldn't believe his eyes. Immediately, her husband took a picture of Caden's arm. He was screaming and crying the entire time, Tara said. He was humiliated and didn't even want me to take a picture of it. There, in thick blue capital letters, were the words lunch money stamped on her son's arm. But what was the meaning of this and who had done it? Caden explained that it was the lunch lady. Apparently, she had felt the need to publicly shame him in front of the entire school. The more his parents heard, the angrier they became. The fact that her son felt so embarrassed by the stamp was the most concerning part. Why wouldn't the school send her a reminder via email if her son's account was running low? Angered, they posted this incident online. Was this right? It wasn't long before Tara's post about the stamp exploded online. It quickly racked up hundreds of comments and shares and most parents were supportive, saying that Tara's anger was completely justified. Like, y'all couldn't send a note, her friend asked. I all couldn't think for two seconds about the numerous references to branding someone as a stigma. What kind of twisted person holds a child's arm and applies a big block-lettered stamp in black ink to their little arm? Another user wrote, most people who saw the post said that the stamp was unacceptable, but what would the school have to say for themselves? Shortly after the post went viral, Tara heard from them. Desert Cove principal Stacy Orist stated that cafeteria staff had never intended to embarrass students with reminder stamps and that they are always supposed to ask them if they want a stamp or a reminder slip. But that answer wasn't good enough for Tara or the other parents who were on her side. They wanted the reminder stamps gone, the following Monday, after the extensive and prominent backlash manifested across social media, the school was forced to make an official statement on the matter. 
Paradise Valley Unified School District spokesperson Becky Kelboss said, It was never the intention of Desert Cove Elementary School administration and staff to embarrass any student by using the stamp. She continued, Students were given the choice between a letter or reminder stamp. Going forward, Desert Cove Elementary School will send a letter home notifying parents of low lunch balances. She also told the Phoenix New Times that Desert Cove would discontinue reminder stamps about low lunch money accounts. But this isn't the first time this has happened. John Bivens' son, a third grader who attends Gardendale Elementary School, came home with a similar stamp on his arm. At first, John didn't think much of it. I thought it was a good job stamp, he said. Then he saw that it was a stamp that said, I need lunch money, John was surprised, as the school usually sent them a notification when his son's account was running low. John and his wife sent their son to school with packed lunches, but allowed him to occasionally buy treats from the school's cafeteria. But what angered John the most was that his son had had a positive balance on his cafeteria account at the end of the term. At the time of the offending stamp, John's son still had a balance of $1.38. They heard these kids like cattle, the angry dad said. He also said that his son was branded. When you start stamping a message on a child's body instead of calling, it's not okay, he said in an interview. It's a form of bullying and shaming the kids, he added. However, sometimes things can be even worse. Unfortunately, there are many schools across the country where so-called lunch shaming is still very much alive. Many parents and even school cafeteria workers oppose it, as it dehumanizes children and exposes them to shame and scorn. But it's still the norm for some schools, and sometimes things can be even worse than a humiliating and stigmatizing stamp. Lunch shaming can be defined as singling out a kid whose parents have school lunch debt. However, the way in which the kid is singled out can vary, and each school often feels free to go as far as the state law allows. But sometimes this has resulted in callous, inhumane punishments for children whose parents can't afford school lunch. Unfortunately, stamping a child as a form of public shaming is a relatively common practice when their parents owe money for school lunches. Another common tactic is to replace a child's hot meal with a colder, lower quality one. However, it can get even worse. In some cases, as inhumane as it sounds, schools force children to work off the debt or publicly shame them in front of their peers. Many schools have faced significant backlash from parents and the media for these practices, but some continue to defend them as necessary measures to reduce school debt in a strained public schooling system. But does this really justify such actions? Many parents and former students can share disturbing stories about how they or their children were treated by school staff when they couldn't afford lunch. These practices can be incredibly cruel, often leaving lasting emotional scars on the kids involved. It's even more baffling when you consider that, according to Feeding America, 16 million American children struggle with hunger each year. While most school cafeteria workers would never turn away a child who can't pay for their meal, some do, and in some cases, the law mandates even harsher actions. In Pennsylvania, one district adopted a policy that required cafeteria workers to throw away hot lunches rather than serve them to children who owed lunch money. God is love and we should treat each other with kindness, Koltiska said. There is enough wealth in this world that no child should go hungry, especially in school. To me, this is simply unacceptable. To protect the privacy of those involved, some names, locations, and identifying details have been altered and are products of the author's imagination. Any resemblance to actual events, places, or persons, living or dead, is entirely coincidental. What are your thoughts on this story? I'd love to hear your opinions, so please share them in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories. Stay tuned for our upcoming content. See you in the next video.